Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to record video from your camera on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. And this is very simple. So if we look on the bottom, we wanna go search and type in store. Now you might already have this application on your computer just by default, but I'm gonna show you how to get it if you don't. So once we're in the Microsoft Store, just simply go to the top and type in camera. And we're gonna search for the Windows camera application. So let's select this one. This one is Windows camera from Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and get this on your computer and then simply open it up. Now you could just go to search and type in camera. I believe this is just default on your computer. And here is the camera application. Now a lot of times I will go down here and I will just pin this to the taskbar. So I always have it. It's located right here. And I am using my Logitech c920 camera this is a very old camera i believe it's probably at least 10 to 12 years old older than most of my nephews so if we look on the far right now there the first option is change camera so top right if you don't see anything it says no signal or something like that just press this little button right here and it'll switch between your different cameras or if you have a capture card it will switch to that so my uh, Live Gamer Ultra is connected, and originally it said no signal. So I had to press this button to actually get a picture. So I turn on my PlayStation 5. I don't think I can actually capture directly from here. It allows me sometimes, but it doesn't. But we want to go through the different options now on the far right. First option is video. So we can press this button now, and it's going to record video. So let's record a little video. So if you want to do a YouTube video or something like that, you can literally do it with this application speaking into this microphone. And then when you're done, just simply hit the big red button with the little square in it. Boom, my video is now recorded and it's in my camera roll in the bottom right. So we can select camera roll in the bottom right now, open this bad boy up and then press play. And that's me talking about me. All right. So we have options for volume right here. And then it looks like a cast to device. So if you want to, I don't know, connect this to a, a gaming PC or something like that, or maybe get your TV connected to your Wi-Fi or something like that, you can cast over to a specific device. But we have the options to delete it right here. We can go to open the Photos app right here. Open this. And this will show everything in here. So if you use the Photos app, then we got share. We can share this to someone through, uh, I don't know, like Facebook Messenger or something. Uh, maybe it doesn't look like that shows up. But we can just show the location and then, you know, just copy over and drag it where we want. So let's go to see more. And here's open folder. This is what I'm talking about. So if you got map, uh, Messenger or something on your computer, you got Facebook open. All you have to do is go to the show and, you know, folder, copy this. I believe if we hit control, we can copy over specific ones. Otherwise, we can just highlight everything. So just take this little file, drop it into an email, a messenger, or something like that, and that person can see your video. Now, let's go ahead and go back. And here is take picture right under camera. You can easily just take a photo. Boom, a photo was taken. Then we have documents. I haven't used this yet. I'm really not sure how to use it, but there's a giant blue thing. And then here's whiteboard. So maybe if you're a teacher, you use the whiteboard or something like that at some point. And then the last one is QR code. This one never works because there's always an error. And those are all the different options on the right. And then we got the camera roll on the bottom. And if we look under uh, video on the far left, there's going to be options under here. This one says manual focus. Let's say it's not getting the focus right. We can just press this. And there's going to be a little slider right here. Totally blurry. Not so bad. So sometimes you want to go ahead and just set the focus because sometimes your camera will keep adjusting back and forth and gets so annoying when you're making a video. So you just set the focus. If you're not going to be moving around or anything like that, it'll be good. Then we got the brightness here too. You can lower it. Sometimes if you lower the brightness, you get more color detail. And that's not so bad. Then I'm just going ahead and keep it right about there. 
and that will be good. Also, we can go to settings on the top left. We got camera settings, we can framing grid. We got that. We can show a grid. When I press and hold the camera button, take one photo. Otherwise, you can do like photo burst, start capturing video. Uh, we got that. Then we got photo settings. We can change the photo quality. And it looks like I'm maxed out right there. And then time lapse. Then we got video settings. So my Logitech C920 is not a very capable camera nowadays, but you know, I got 1080p by 30 frames per second. That was really great in like 2007. So that's the max I can do. And then we got flicker reduction right there. So definitely look, come to this section and switch up some of your settings. Um, you probably want to record at least 60 frames per second so you get a smooth image. Uh, when you're sending this over to someone like 1080p at 60 frames per second would look so good And it looks like I don't have any options for that So maybe we're just limited to 30 frames per second in this little application. I'll have to go ahead and check I don't have another camera at the moment, but I'll probably be buying one soon so we can back out then and Make sure you go to the camera roll and just You can press right click on this and you can copy it. So this is for your photos. So let's go to the next one here. Here's my video. I can't copy this, only you can open it in the folder. So that'll probably be the most convenient way to use this. And let's see, did I go through the three dots? Yes, I did. And hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. More tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.